We are firm in our demand to march within sight and sound of the front doors of the Pfizer Forum. The group that plans to protest at the RNC is not backing down despite a court's decision. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Natalie Shepard. I'm Jessa Breisbeck. We appreciate you being there. With the Republican National Convention less than a week away now, a federal judge has ruled against protesters who want their voices heard near Pfizer Forum. The coalition took the city to court asking for a permit to march through a security zone set by the city and the Secret Service, and their leaders are not happy with the court's reaction. CBS 58's Taj Mahal is live outside Pfizer Forum with the group's message and the city's response. Tajma. Yeah, Natalie Jessup, we are here right outside of Pfizer Forum, and you can see the barricades are stacked and ready in preparation for next week's convention. Now, the coalition to march on the RNC has been fighting with the city of Milwaukee for months about protest zones and different locations and permits. They want to be as close here to Pfizer Forum as possible for their demonstration, but a federal judge said no. Well, the city at this point may not have a legal obligation to give us the route that we're asking for. They do have a moral obligation. The coalition to march on the RNC is planning a large demonstration on Monday, the first day of the Republican National Convention. The group requested a protest route that conflicts with the security zone set by the city of Milwaukee and Secret Service. The city has determined two areas for demonstrations during the convention, one near Haymarket Square and the other at Zeidler Union Square. But the coalition says those locations are both too far from the front doors of Pfizer Forum, where the convention is taking place. The city has opened the doors and rolled out the red carpet for the Republicans. Represented by the ACLU, the coalition filed a federal lawsuit against the city in hopes of getting approval for a route that would put them closer to the convention site. But Judge Brett Ludwig ruled Monday the security zones set by the city are in the best interest of public safety. We firmly believe that the city of Milwaukee delayed the release of their designated route, so we would not have much time in court to litigate. Protest organizers say despite the judge's decision, they plan to march their own route without a permit. We do have an updated march route uh, that complies with the uh, credentialed zone. So we do not plan on challenging the credentialed zone. And within just the last hour, I received a statement from the Milwaukee Police Department. They say, quote, they respect the rights of all individuals who wish to peacefully express their First Amendment rights. I also reached out to the mayor's office for comment. They sent me a statement saying that the city respects the judge's decision and that all activity taking place in and around the convention area will be monitored to make sure that, quote, safety is paramount. Now, protesters plan to meet at Red Air Park on Monday at 10 a.m. For now reporting live in Milwaukee, I'm Taj Mahal, CBS 58 News.